If you want to use voice access on Samsung Galaxy A17, first of all we have to open settings. Next we're gonna scroll down in order to find the accessibility. In here open interaction and dexterity and you should be able to find voice access. We can just simply turn it on by tapping on the switcher and then press allow. Now over here we need to grant some permissions. This might actually look a little bit different in your case but essentially just grant all these permissions that you are asked to be granted. And there we go. Here we also can find some settings. So in case you need to adjust something, you can, for example, find an activation button over here. So you can easily activate voice, voice access by using this button and so on and so forth. Over here we can press setup voice access in order to do so. And in some cases you might need to also update the app. So let's actually open the Play Store. It is actually updated. I'm not sure why it asked me to to do so. And there we go. So this is what you might see at first. So we have one of several ways to activate voice access. So you can tap the voice access notification in the notification tray. We can activate with Google Assistant by saying, hey, Google voice access. Or we can enable this button. So in my case, I'm going to stick with the button. Over here, we also have a tutorial. So it is worth checking it out and to get to know how to actually use the voice access. Now, below over here in these voice access settings, we can also find some example uh, things, an example like commands, voice commands that we can uh, use on our phone. So I'm gonna activate voice, voice access and I'm just gonna use one of these commands. Let's say I'm gonna choose go home in order to show you how it works. First, we need to grant the access to the microphone as well. So we can choose stop listening after 30 seconds of an activity. That's going to be a good one. And let's proceed. Go home. There we go. So if you say something, if you start saying something, it will be, of course, detected by the microphone. And if you want to actually use a voice command, it is recommended to simply wait a second to get a feedback that uh, the voice access doesn't know what you actually want from them because, well, this is a pretty long sentence. Uh, but once it is done, you should be able to uh, say your voice command. So if you see, sorry, didn't understand that, then you can say the, um, the voice command out loud. So let's say, um, let's see if we can open settings. Open settings. Open settings. There we go. So it actually worked just fine. So let's go to notifications and over here in notifications, you should be able to uh, deactivate the uh, this option. I'm not sure if I can actually find it. Let's clear my notifications because it's too much actually. Okay, maybe we can just say stop listening. Stop listening. There we go. So yeah, uh, apparently, uh, if you didn't, if you don't set it up properly, like I did, and then um, you will have to say out loud that uh, the voice access should stop listening. But remember to go to the settings in case something is not working as intended. Uh, remember that you can go back to the setup over here. You can also find apparently some more options over here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, the tutorial is also available here, so in case something is um, unclear, you can also check that out. Here, once again, we have some example um, example commands that we can say out loud. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.